we're going to have instant exposure. And then we can start testing our conversion, right? We can start testing our images. We can start testing to see how our product is going to convert, how well it's received. Is it getting favorited? Like all of those things, we can instantly see that versus, oh, well, let's just wait and let the algorithm do its thing. Waiting to turn on Etsy ads. We hear this all the time, not just with our Etsy shop audits that we've done, which that is also a thing that we see is like, well, I'm going to wait to turn them on until I start to get sales. And we need to flip that around. We need to, we need to inject sales to get more sales. And I know that sounds like, well, Scott, wait a minute here. Like you're telling me like, I have to get sales to get more sales. Yes. That's what Etsy is looking at the most in their algorithm. Yes. Your title matters because it tells the algorithm what it is, right? But what really tells them how to rank this product is sales. So in the very beginning, especially we need to turn on ads because if we turn on ads, we're going to have instant exposure and then we can start testing our conversion, right? We can start testing our images. We can start testing to see how our product is going to convert, how well it's received. Is it getting favorited? Like all of those things, we can instantly see that versus, oh, well, let's just wait and let the algorithm do its thing. You're going to be waiting a while. Okay. So we don't want to do that. So we want to get those turned on as soon as possible. Even if it's with $2 a day, like $3 a day, $5 a day, go crazy, you know, spend that coffee money and just, you know, take a day off with the coffee and turn on the Etsy ads. If that's an issue. Okay. Because you're going to get data from that. We'll talk about that also here in a little bit, but that one there is a big one that we see is people are waiting to turn on ads before, uh, or actually they're trying to get sales without getting turning on the ads and then realizing like, oh, I need to inject sales. Yes, turn on the ads. So I know you could go on a, a whole little spiel here, Chris. I want to try to keep you contained here, but on the Etsy ads, what do you want to say there, bud? Turn them on the sooner, the better. And we get two variations of this question, Scott. Should I wait until I have X products or should I wait until X days before a certain holiday, right? Insert Christmas, Thanksgiving, Halloween, whatever, to turn Etsy ads on. And the answer to both of those is no, right? Both of those two questions, as soon as you have some products up, that is soon enough to turn on Etsy ads. And Scott, the, the concern I think that a lot of people have is that they're just gonna light their money on fire. And actually in the most recent uh, quarterly call, that Etsy had with their investors, one of the questions was, hey, you have a lot of people who want to spend more money in your ads platform and can't do it because there's not enough inventory there, right? Not really a concern on Etsy because of how Etsy does the matches. And even for just a few dollars a day, like you said, three to five bucks, up to 50 or 100 listings in a lot of cases, you can start to get that early data back. And understanding what's working and what's not, even if it's not fully optimized right now, is the most important thing. We need to understand which keywords are leading to clicks, which keywords are leading to conversions and which keywords we're ranking for according to Etsy, right? Because they're going to be a little bit more liberal on the paid side than they are on the free side. Etsy thinks we're relevant for that we're really not relevant for. And we can start turning those off in ads and taking another look at the listing to say, hey, maybe I shouldn't have used this word because that's not what actually people mean when they type it in. And the sooner we can get that data back on the paid side, the sooner we can start to ramp up the organic side. And I think most people want to wait for that organic and that can take three, four, five, six months. Yes, Etsy will give new listings a chance in the organic mm -hmm. search results. But to get the amount of data that you really need to understand what's working takes months because Etsy's goal at the end of the day is to match a buyer with the product that they can buy right now. And if they don't know if that's you or not, they can't do that. And they're going to give you some tests. But if they know Scott's product sells every time, they're just yeah. going to keep showing Scott until you've built up enough enough trust with the algorithm yeah. to be able to do that. Turning ads on for a few bucks a day right away is a great way to shortcut that process. Yeah. Okay. So that leads me into still talking ads because there's another issue that happens is you're running Etsy ads. They're working. You're converting to sales. You're getting organic sales. And then you turn them off because you know what? I want to save that five bucks a day now. Chris, I'm going to let you take this one because I know that you're going to have some thoughts on this and I've got my own thoughts, but I'm going to let you share yours because they're probably similar. And, um, what would you say and what have you said to, uh, our Etsy shop oddities that, uh, you know, had said, I'm going to turn off my ads because things seem to be doing pretty good right now. Do we turn them off? No, 
<laughs> right? And so here's here's the short answer to that, Scott. Would you rather have one chance at a sale or two chances at a sale? And the answer is always two, right? Yes, uh, there's a chance that if somebody clicks on our ad instead of on the organic listing that we pay a few cents. But if they were going to buy from us, they were going to buy from us anyway. And that just, you know, I, I'm willing to give up 20 cents to get a sale and to ensure that I get that sale. The reason for that is twofold. One, it doubles our chances, ostensibly, of getting the click from the search results. But two, it also ensures that we keep up the volume. And that, I think, is one thing that a lot of people miss out on is Etsy is looking at which product is most likely to convert for any given search, right? Which product, when somebody types in at dancing avocado mug, which product will they buy? It's obviously this one, right? Well, if somebody starts selling more because they're now taking up all of those ad impressions, then it becomes the one that says Scott on the back, not the one that says Chris on the back. And our organic rank can start to slip. And I've spent millions and millions of dollars, close to $100 million in pay-per-click across different platforms. And this holds true whether it's Etsy, Amazon, Google, right? Any place where there's a search. Even if you rank number one organically, you will almost always see more sales when you are ranking organically and advertising. And so for me, it's worth the few cents to ensure that we keep that position and we keep bringing in as much data as humanly possible. Yeah. And so that's going to lead me into the, uh, the next thing here. And on our list that comes in at number nine and that one is, well, dialing in the Etsy ads and not just leaving them on and neglecting them and wasting money because we also see that where it's like, well, I'm running them. I think they're doing okay. I'm getting some sales. Let's just kind of leave it. And so what would you say there, Chris? And what have you said? I know what you've said. So just share this with the audience. <laughs> but, you know, at this point, what what are we doing here? I mean, and what have we done with some of these Etsy shops that we've done these audits for? We've, we've literally opened up their dashboard and went through and did it, did what you're going to explain here. So uh, what, what is... Uh, what is the next move when you're looking at this and you're like, well, wait a minute here, let's dig in and see what's going on here so we can maybe save you some money and maybe get you some more sales. And I think th this is really the last two tips combined into the reason that we give both of those tips, right? Turning off ads, the, re the reason people usually will say that is they say, ah, my return on ad spend isn't good or it's not resulting in the sales that I want or I'm spending too much, right? They wanna wait to turn it on because they think that they have to wait to be able to get the data to be able to do that. And what we're really talking about, the reason, Scott, that you and I love Etsy ads so much is not because you can light money on fire and potentially get some sales back. It's because you get data. And what we want is to focus on the data that is working, right? When I said, don't wait to turn on Etsy ads because you're getting that keyword data back early, that's what we're talking about. What keywords are leading to clicks? What keywords are leading to sales? Those are the two things that Etsy really cares about. What we'll see a lot of times when we start running ads I mentioned this a minute ago, is that Etsy is a little more liberal with the search impressions than they are on the organic side. Because they say, hey, if you're willing to pay for it, this is kind of related to what you're talking about. So I'm going to throw that in there, right? And when you start to look at that keyword report that comes back when you look at your Etsy ads, you'll start to see some stuff that makes absolutely no sense. So the very first thing we need to do is go in and turn that off. Step number two is anything that seems relevant but is overly broad. And I think the example you and I have used a bunch of times is we sell wooden signs. We see the word wood in there. That's potentially related, but that's probably not what somebody means when they type wood in on Etsy. So we probably want to turn that off unless that's converting really, really well for us. And we can start to trim down those keywords, starting with the things that are obviously extraneous and then starting to trim out the things that look like they might be relevant but really aren't when we think about the search intent. And in doing that, we can sculpt our Etsy budget and we can really emphasize for Etsy what we should be ranking for. Because if we're getting rid of the junk and we're only leaving the keywords that are resulting in clicks and sales, which is the goal of this, then not only are our ads potentially substantially more profitable, right? We go from a two or a three return on ad spend to a five or a six in a lot of cases, but also all of that uh, SEO juice, right? All of those keywords are focused around one thing to say, hey, Chris sells when they type in dancing avocado. It doesn't matter if we show them organically. It doesn't matter if we show them unpaid. Let's do that. And by focusing your budget around that set of keywords, it helps Etsy learn that lesson faster and it optimizes your spend well. So for me, dialing in your Etsy ads is all about sculpting those keywords, getting out all the junk that not only helps save you money, but it really helps Etsy understand who your product is for and it will ramp up where you rank organically for the things that actually matter. 
Yeah. And guys, if you uh, need help with Etsy ads, we actually have a free guide. Um, if you'd like to uh, to get access to that, just in the comments, just put ads and uh, we'll make sure that we get you that guide. It really goes over the strategy that we use all the way from like the budget to running it, how many days. And then from there, like going through and doing what Chris just said and kind of like sculpting it. Um, if you want access to that, just put ads in the comments and we'll make sure that we uh, get you a copy of that. All right. Totally free. Um, all right. So that's the Etsy ad side of things. And again, like there's different areas that we see and that we have seen. And in these audits, a lot of these audits, we go into the ads because that's a, that's a critical part of this, whether they're not running them, whether they're running them, but they're not paying attention to them. Um, so again, if you want, you can go through some of our past Etsy shop audits, which we'll link that up in the description as well with the playlist. As of right now, there's 27 in there. Uh, and some of them are focused just on Etsy ads. We have a couple in there that are just Etsy ads focused. Uh, 